good my beautiful people welcome to my channel lovely soul empress today i'm going to be doing gemini's love reading for the last week of june uh just a couple quick announcements if you're looking for a private reading the information will be in the description box if you want to follow me on instagram i pull a daily tarot card for the overall energy of the day you can find me at lovely soul empress i'm also running a contest from now to the end of june all you have to do is like subscribe and comment on a video and you'll be um, entered. Uh, you uh, could win a private um, reading with me, a Celtic spread, plus a question of your choice with the clarifiers. Um, <clears throat> I will pick a winner July 1st. I will comment under the winner. They will have 48 hours to get back to me. Um, this reading, like I said, is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as well for the cross watcher if you're dealing with a uh, Gemini or someone who has those important placements. Um, this reading cannot resonate for all Geminis as it's a general love reading, but you know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, as well, remember that the energies can be reversed. As well, uh, there's no gender in tarot. We're talking about the energies. So, like I said, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and like, comment, and subscribe. We would love to have you as part of the Lovely Soul uh, family, okay? So I already shuffled, uh, meditated, prayed, and um, smudged the decks with Palo Santo. So we're going to jump right in and clear the energy, okay? Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's jump right in. Spirit, what do you have for my Gemini's? Gemini gang, last week of June, Spirit. Last week of June. Last week of June, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini gang. Last week of June, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini. One more, Spirit. One more. One more, Spirit. One more spirit. At the bottom of the deck, nine of baskets. So Gemini, you have the six of sticks. This is talking about victory. You have the daughter of sticks. This is uh, the knight of wands okay so uh someone rushing in passionately and then you have the four of baskets so this talking about a love offer being afraid to make a love offer being afraid to receive a love offer or being indifferent about a love offer at the heart of the matter you have the father of coins this is the king of pentacles this is a very stable king uh, he's abundant. Uh, he can be like an independent contractor or own his own business. Uh, but he's dependable. He's stable. He uh, says what he means. He means what he says. Your partner has a two of baskets. Okay, so this is the two of cups. This is the lovers in the minor arcana. They have the ten of baskets. This is the happy home, happy life, happy wife card. And then they have Miss Robinson, which in this de deck is uh, the devil. 
and then they have the sun of coins so um the overall energy is the nine of baskets which is talking about wish fulfillment so let me just go over the signs real quick we have aries leo and sag here we have taurus virgo and gemini we have cancer pisces and scorpio uh, we have scorpio again and we have aries leo i mean um Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn again, okay? So that's what's on the deck. Let's get some clarifiers and let's begin. Spirit, why is the Ace of Sticks here for Gemini? Last week of June, Spirit, why is the Six of Sticks here for my Geminis? The Emperor. So... The emperor is a CEO, a boss, an authoritative figure. He could be married. He's, uh, you know, the king of all kings. This person likes control. Um, they don't like to lose. And that came out on top of the, um, the six of wands. So wanting the victory. Six of wands can also mean uh, seeking attention. But with this combination, I feel like this person is controlling. Spirit, why is the daughter of sticks here for my Geminis? Why is the daughter of sticks here for my Geminis? Daughter of sticks, last week of June, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, spirit. Daughter of sticks for the Geminis. Daughter of sticks. Why is the daughter of sticks here for my Gemini gang, spirit? So the Queen of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So this night is a passionate night. Sometimes rushes in and rushes back out. Queen of Cups, this is um, Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, or this could be in your chart, or this is the energy that you're um, giving off. This is how they see you. Okay, so they're rushing in. Page of Wands, trying to make a passionate offer. Passion, they might send you a message, but you're holding back four pentacles. Um, you are right now are being reserved, okay? Now, um, the four baskets spirit. Why does Gemini gang have the four baskets? Why the four baskets for my Geminis? Because this person with this controlling um, attitude and uh, this um, liking to win, um, they you're holding back from their love offer because you feel like they were manipulative, like they would fight with you, they won up with you, they want to win at all costs. This is that controlling nature of the emperor. And this is why you're holding back from um, accepting this love offer. Spirit, why is the father of coins here for Gemini, Spirit? Why is the father of coins here for Gemini? Why is the father of coins here for Gemini, Spirit? At the heart of the matter, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Last week of June, Spirit, why is the father of coins here? Father of coins for Gemini, Spirit? Excuse me, allergy season. Father of coins for my Gemini, Spirit. Yeah, um, because someone has regrets about love situation, um, uh, they might have left you waiting, um, but now they're waiting because the Wheel of Fortune is here bringing some type of movement from the universe and uh, this knight, uh, this King of Wands, so this again with this Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, okay, so, um, they want to make a very stable offer to you. They're coming to you in the energy of the father of coins, or they're seeing you as very stable, right? And they have regrets for the way they treated you. Three of wands, they're waiting because they know that you've energetically moved away. They're even leveling up. This king, this daughter of sticks is the knight of wands. And now they're coming in as the king of wands, um, now, the King of Wands, he's passionate and self-assured, so he's he's trying to come at you. He's trying to come at you. Spirit, two of baskets, spirit. Why does Gemini's person have the two of baskets? Why 
Yeah, because they, they want to make a passionate love offer to you. Temperance is bringing in some leveling out in this situation. They might have been uh, asking the universe for help or you might have been. Which is what I'm getting. Um, this person was a bit of a bully. And now uh, the Seven of Pentacles, they're looking at uh, the hard work. They might have even been looking at your hard work and thinking, was did I reward this person for all that they put in? And this might have been a message from uh, Temperance, from the universe. Like, hey, you know, you better get right. Um, so they want to make this passionate offer to you, okay? They want to fix it. Temperance is talking about reconciliation. Ten of baskets, spirit. Why does Gemini's partner have the ten of baskets? Why does Gemini's partner have the ten of baskets, spirit? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Last week of June, spirit. Ten of baskets for Gemini's partner. Why does Gemini's partner have the ten of baskets? Ten of baskets, spirit. Why does Gemini's partner have the Ten of Baskets? Why do they have the Ten of Baskets, Spirit? Yeah, the Empress. So they see you as the Empress, the Queen of all Queens. Once you've had an Empress, you can't go back to a regular Queen. Okay? Um, now, you could have children with this person. They see you as abundant and creative, intelligent, uh, you know... They see you as uh, their uh, other half with this lover's card, the emperor's here, divine connection, right? This uh, not, this king of pentacles, he's just the minor arcana version of the emperor, right? They want to put down these conflicts that they've had with you, right? So um, that's why they're willing to put in this work, spirit. Why is Miss Robinson here with the Son of Coins spirit for Gemini's partner? So there was some type of devil energy here. There was some toxicity. They recognize that now. Um, they're coming to you with a very slow, stable offer. Like, hey, can we go out to eat? I want to talk to you about something. Because here's the Queen of Pentacles again with the the pair right because you had the king of pentacles right the queen of pentacles right they they know now like they know undoubtedly that you are their person and the ace of pentacles so they want to build something solid with you this whole ten of baskets you're the one they know that now but i knew that this was going to be there four of wands so they want that happy life with you and they're sure now Spirit, nine of baskets, nine of baskets, nine of baskets. So you are their wish fulfillment, queen of swords. They're afraid you're going to cut them down. And uh, this is you, a Gemini, um, right here. But they're afraid that you're going to cut them down. Okay? And they're also afraid that you're pulling away from them energetically. But they're coming in, rushing in, like right, right now, like, um, please, Gemini, you are my wish fulfillment. I also am getting, you see, Knight of Pentacles. It's a slow moving offer, but it's for real, for real. It's stable because they're stuck in their heads up at night about this situation. Whatever went down with y'all, they want the victory. Ten of Cups, as we saw here, they see you as the happy wife, happy life, happy, you know, the whole thing, the whole package. Nine of Wands, they're not giving up. They're fighting for the reconciliation. Here's the Queen of Wands. You're looking good, smelling good, feeling good. They see you in your power. Passionate messages. They weren't hangman stuck in their head. They took time to reflect. And the lovers, they are sure, okay? So they, they see you standing your ground. Uh, they want to come out of conflict with you because you're the wish fulfillment. They want to continue to build on this foundation. And there goes the 11-11 um, card, the four of wands again. So they know what they want now. Okay? They might not have known before when they was in this night of 
wands energy in and out you know and uh we're gonna see we're gonna see spirit what does gemini feel for their partner spirit what does gemini feel for their partner last week of june so you're trying to make the effort to uh the engagement card came out so you guys could have been talking about taking it to the next level um and yeah you know there's an attraction there okay spirit what actions will gemini's partner be taking towards them what actions will gemini's so they see you retreating they might even retreat a little because like i said they're trying to get that perspective right right because they're afraid that you're gonna um send them away with the unrequited love um because the wedding card is here and the engagement card is there they they're looking at marriage with this emperor and empress they're not they're not fucking around i'm just gonna say it all right so now the soulmate that's how they see you you guys may have children if not they want children they know you deserve love they want you to know it's safe for you to love they feel you're the true love <laughs> this is the card that i was waiting to see because i knew it was going to come out letting go of control issues they are ready to stop with this controlling shit trust they want you to trust them they're calling their soulmate they want to end this separation if there was lying which we had the five of um do we have the five of swords yeah, the five of swords right here. So they want to get past that. They see it as a past life relationship. They feel you could be the one. They want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. They're probably flirting with you. They're trying to keep an open mind, passion. They're going to their friends for help. So, Spirit, what actions will Gemini take towards their partner? Last week of June, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Spirit. What actions will the Geminis take towards their partners? Gemini spirit. So you want to have heart to heart conversations too. So you're going to open up that dialogue that they've been waiting for. You're trying to keep an open mind. Um, you know you deserve love, but you're not sure if it's safe for you to go back to this person. You know that they're your true love, and, but you're not sure if you should come out of separation with them because of the de deception. All right. Spirit, what actions will Gemini's partner take towards them this week? Spirit, last week of June, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. They want to give this relationship a chance. Uh, if you don't already have children, they want children. They want you to trust them. Um, they're calling in their soulmate. Um, they feel you are their soulmate. They're trying to flirt with you. Let go of control issues. They want you to let go. And they're willing to let go too. They feel like you could be the one. They want to come out of separation. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Spirit, what's the outcome for my Geminis? Outcome for Geminis? Outcome for my Gemini spirit. So you're loving yourself first. Uh, you're open to new love as well. Um, like I said, they want to let go of control issues. They feel this, you could be the one. They're letting go of the separation. Deception is still here though. Past life relationship. They recognize that you guys' uh, connection is deep. They want you to keep an open mind. You're still, uh, they know you deserve love. They want you to know it's safe for you to love. They feel you're their true love passion they have for you you are their soulmate they're calling you in they want to flirt with you they are feel you're worth waiting for they are um going to their friends for advice they want to get to know each other again so it looks like you're walking away from them and they're still pushing for um for a second chance so that is what I see for you, Gemini. I am going to get some advice from Spirit. I think that you're going to reject this person and they're going to continue chasing you. So um, this might go on for more than just this week, okay? Okay. 
Okay, so it's saying be honest and there was some deception card that kept coming up. So if there was something that you haven't spoken on, maybe it's how you really feel. Maybe that's the time for that with this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And maybe if you give this person the opportunity to uh, come with their truth, um, they will tell you what they've been holding back on, okay? So that's what I have for my wonderful Geminis. I'm wishing you light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.